name's Cohen, and I have a school project where I have to like make something and show how to make it. And so we're gonna be making some banana chocolate chips. So you're gonna need two bowls, a teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon, I mean, yeah, baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, half, te half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cup of flour, three quarters cup, of, three quarters of a cup of sugar, an egg, three large bananas that are mushy, and as much as chocolate chips as you want. So first, we're gonna melt the butter, and you also need some butter. So first. cooking stuff. Oh, yes. What temperature do you need to set it to? So you need to push it in and then you can turn it and you can let go and keep on turning it. And once you're at 350, there's like another big dash and you go to there. So that's 375, so you need to stop there. And then you go over to your rear. Burner. Second one. Whatever it's called. Next one. And what front... I'm not good at this stuff. Push down. So you're gonna go to light, and then you're gonna go into like halfway of light, and then you're gonna plop your butter in. I might need a knife for this. See your hand. So that's in. Follow the instructions. First, three large bananas. You can appeal these. These are really disgusting. Uh, my mom already kind of peeled them a little. And if you're peeling these, you might want to have some of your uh, chocolate chips while you're having, while you're doing this. Uh, the faster you go, the less you have to hold it. Yeah, that's my mom said. Barely comes off, guys. We're gonna put this peel. Disgusting, guys. Really disgusting. So we're gonna pour that in whatever one you want, and grab a chocolate chip if you want. <laughs> and now you're gonna peel the other disgusting ones. That you don't want. Ew. Shush. Because you're going to peel these ones. Which these ones are even more mushier. Oh, I'm not going to do this. Do it over top of the bowl. Okay. Over top of the bowl. Just plop it in. There you go. So you think that's right? Okay. So now we're gonna follow the instructions. What's next? And so now we're gonna pour the uh, three quarters of sugar in. Mhm. Mm in the bowl that you poured the bananas in. So there it goes. Finished. Now we're gonna put one egg in it. Yeah, I'm gonna need a glass bowl for this. Okay, no egg shells, guys. 
knows? We did it. So I'm gonna pour this where? Where do I put this? In the bowl. Pistol. Pistol. Okay, put it in the bowl. So now, I should probably keep this cloth on me because it's better. All this messy stuff. And now you're gonna need to one mix. One mix. You need to mix it. You don't need to mix it with this thing. You need to mix it with your electric mixer. Where's that? It's behind you. So now, um, my mom likes to mush it up, so you're gonna mush it. And then you should put it on like the first one and you just start mixing. Circles and circles. So it's all mushy. So it's all mushy. So once it gets all mushy, guys, it's so loud. Once it gets all mushy, then you're done. And so. Good, stop it. That's about right. So now we're gonna go back. Get the butter. Get the butter. Pour the butter in. Are you gonna hold it by the handle so it doesn't hurt you? And so you're gonna pour it right on in. It's so hot. <laughs> Guys, it's hot. <laughs> We're gonna give it a quick little mix. Oh. Just to get it soaked in there. All right, it's good. So I think that's about right. And so now, we're gonna go back over here. You need to bring the steps to I'm too short. Well, I can stand like this, but now we're gonna need one and a half teaspoon of salt and pour the. Wait, no. We have to. In a separate bowl, mix one and a half cups of all purpose flour. 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 That's one and a half cup of flour. You're gonna need and pour it into your second bowl. Just plop it everywhere. Make sure it goes like everywhere, like in the bowl. I got it in my hand. Stuff it. So that's, we got that. Now we're gonna mix it. Wait, no, we're gonna, no, we're not gonna mix it. What's, what's next on the list? One what's and the next ingredient? Cups of, wait, one teaspoon of baking soda. Mm -hmm. It's good, guys. It's good. It didn't spill. It didn't. It did not spill. We pour that in wherever that goes. And so next, you're gonna need one teaspoon of baking powder. So baking soda. Now one teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half Sorry, half a teaspoon of salt. I don't know all this cooking stuff, so my mom's kind of helping me. If you hear her in the back. Now mix it a little bit. Now you're gonna mix it with your whatever a whisk, and I got this from Kitchen Plus. And so now we're gonna mix it all up. Get closer on this. Beautiful. So that's good. Get off the edges. It's more in like the middle. I think that's good. Brush it off a little. Okay, next. Now, add dry ingredients to the wet. 
ingredients. So gently dump it in. So gently dump it into the wet banana disgusting stuff. And, and then we're gonna mix it. We're gonna mix it guys. Sorry, I don't know anything. Ugh. Can you get a close up on this? Make sure it's all mixed. Oh god, the kitchen table. Uh, not the kitchen table, but the couch. The island. Island. Okay, move it around so you're getting all the flour in there. I know, I know. I'm trying to, on the sides. mixing it as you see because she is stronger than I am and so next you're gonna need your chocolate chips and you're gonna pour them into your whatever it's called muffin mix muffin mix and so you're gonna pour that in and you're gonna mix it Can you get a close-up on this? Get all the chocolate chips, guys. With the sides and stuff. So it looks like cookie dough when you eat ice cream. It's starting to look like cookie dough. It gets very, very strong. And so we're finished with that. And so we have our cookie holders. And Bang it off the bowl. Get all the stuff off your whisk, all the mixed stuff, whatever it's called. Your batter. Your batter. And so you're going to put it in these. So you're going to put it all in these somehow. Scoop it with the spoon. And you use this big spoon. This is, okay, this is a normal spoon and this is a tiny spoon. So, tiny spoon, normal spoon, and big spoon. Look at the difference. Look at the difference oh. at this. I'm going to put these other ones back. And so, we're just going to scoop it and put it in your cup holders with your tray. So, let's scoop it. Get an equal amount. And then if you need more, you can put more. You just pour one scoop and then if you need more in some of them, you could go back and come back to them. So you're going to need it to uh, pour it to three quarters of the way. And then you're going to bake it to 350 degrees for about 18 to 20 minutes. It depends what your oven is. So let's put it in your oven, in the oven, not yours, mine. Oh, it's so hot, guys. I need my gloves, guys. My mom says I don't, but I do. Put it lengthwise. Turn it sideways, there you go. Let's give it a little push, there you go. So you need a little push, and you push it up, and you're going to set it. Which one? So you're going to need to set it, depends, 18 to 20 minutes, at 350 degrees. And now we just got to wait. So, so you, need a, um, you need to take them out when they're gold and brown and ready. So let's take them out and try them. You're going to need oven gloves. Get the edges, yep. Yeah.
muffins. Now it's just now let's try them after they cool up a little. Now you have your beautiful muffins and they're ready to eat. See ya. <laughs>